Hey guys, it's Melanie and in today's video we are going to be doing a quick little thrift flip. I have had a bunch of clothes piled up that I've been wanting to revamp a little bit because you know the thrift store is full of amazing things. They just need a little bit of sprucing sometimes and sometimes that's just because they don't fit me and other times that's just because you want to, you know, make it just a little bit cuter. So in today's video I'm just showing you guys some of the common ways that I upcycle my clothes I guess. I know a lot of these are very very simple half of them are literally just cropping but these are the things that I actually do to my clothes to just make them a little bit cuter so hopefully this video is helpful to you guys and if you try out any of these things I would love to see how it turns out if you guys want to see more thrift flip videos I'm not gonna lie they're probably gonna be a little bit similar I'll try to come up with some additional flips but um i typically do kind of like the same kind of things but nonetheless let's get straight into this thrift flip video and i hope that you guys enjoy so i'm not gonna lie guys these first three thrift flips are pretty much just me cropping some sweaters but honestly that's what i do to over half of the things that i thrift so i'm just gonna show you guys essentially what i do Depending on the material of the top that I am cropping, it will depend a little bit, but basically I just hold it up. At this point, I can kind of grasp in my mind and estimate where I'm going to crop it just by holding it up to me, but I would suggest trying it on and just putting a little dot or something if you don't do this regularly. I tend to do this a lot with baggy oversized shirts as well as tight fitting shirts just because I'm very short and crop things just tend to look better on me and are a little more flattering. One of my biggest tips is to use fabric cutting scissors. This way it's just a lot smoother of a cut and you don't get those ugly jagged edges that make it look like you cut it. Unless that's what you're going for then you can you know do whatever you want. Now, not only do I crop all of the tops that I thrift, but I also crop many, many pairs of jeans. Not gonna lie, this is a little bit embarrassing, but I do have to admit that I cut my own jeans just because I am so dang short. Basically, I just cut a rough edge on a lot of my jeans because I like it when my ankles show just a little bit and it gives it kind of a distressed frayed look. As you see, these jeans already are distressing, so basically I'm just going to cut that off a few inches just so that they are more to my length, but then I still want the distressing, so I did that myself just using a pair of tweezers. Sometimes I use tweezers and distress it a little extra if I want it to have that frayed look, but other times I'll just throw it in the wash and it'll kind of do it a little bit itself, but not as much. This is just another pair of jeans that I've decided to crop a little. I tend to do this when I want them to be a little bit shorter or fit my legs better without having to roll them because the rest of my jeans I basically cuff the bottoms. And for this pair I decided again spraying the bottom so you can just see the little cleaner of a cut. And for a third pair of jeans that I decided to cut, I did exactly the same thing. I also like trying these on and using a pencil just to mark exactly where I want them cut just so that I don't mess it up. This is just super simple, it takes a few seconds, and personally I think it makes jeans look way, way, way better on me. Now for this flip, I just needed to make some alterations to the skirt because I thought the pattern and the style of it are super cute, but it doesn't fit me very well. As you can see, it's pretty big and a little long, so I just needed to do some hemming on my sewing machine. But it was pretty simple stuff, so all I did was took off a couple inches on each side by sewing a straight line down each side using my sewing machine. I also hemmed a couple inches off the bottom because it was a little bit longer than I would like. 
I'd also highly recommend trying on the skirt beforehand and just putting little pins in place just so you know the exact measurements just so that you don't make it too small or too big and then have to go over and do everything a second time. So this is how this one turned out. It went from not fitting me at all to being this super cute little mini skirt. Now on to some tops that I decided to do a little more than just cropping. I had this Nike crew neck that I really, really like, but um, I just don't like the plain crew neck fit on me. It's kind of boring. So I decided to crop it and do a little cinching by adding in my own elastic waistband. So essentially you're adding in a little scrunchie to the hemmed bottom of your crew neck. So all I did was make a straight stitch along the bottom, hemming, making a pretty thick seam on the bottom of my crew neck, and then I threaded through my thick elastic that is measured to the size of my waist. Once I threaded that through, I just tied the ends together or sewed the ends together, and then sewed that in place, and that's pretty much it. I have a little bit more of an in-depth version of this in one of my previous thrift flips, but this is something that I like to do to a lot of my crew necks, just because I think it makes it look a lot more flattering. Now this one is a little bit of a variation of cropping, but instead of leaving a cut edge at the bottom, I just sewed the bottom of the bottom of my original sweater back on to make it look a little bit more professional per se. But basically all I did was crop out a section of the sweater, but I still kept the bottom. And then I turned both of those pieces inside out and used my sewing machine to sew them back together so that it has a clean hem at the edge, but the hem is the original sweater so it's a lot thicker and it gives kind of a unique style I actually got this idea from a little shop that was at the Melrose trading post and they would do this to a bunch of thrifted sweaters and I thought it was super super cool and I'm definitely gonna be doing this to a lot more sweaters that I thrift So this is the finished outcome and essentially it is a crop sweater but, but with a little twist. For this sweater shirt, it just looked a little bit too big and baggy for my liking so I wanted to make it a little bit more fitted by cropping the sleeves and the shirt as well. I decided to just crop the shirt and leave it at a raw hem, but I wanted the sleeves to have a cleaner hem, so I just did that using my sewing machine, which was really simple because all you do is fold over the seams, fold over about half an inch or however thick you want your hem to be, and just do a straight stitch across. And this was the final outcome. Now for the 10th and final thrift flip, this one includes no cropping, I swear, but it does include painting, which, you know, I paint literally everything I own, but this is actually one of my first times painting clothes, I think, I think, don't quote me on that, but basically all I did was take this plain denim jacket and I bought this special paint for specifically made for fabric and clothes. I know some people use acrylic paint, but I wasn't sure if that would like wash off or anything. So just to be sure, I got the special paint made specifically for clothes and I got this at Joann's by the way. Pretty self-explanatory. Of course I'm painting butterflies because what else would I do? But I also thought it looked really cool on the denim and match well. I just looked at some photos for inspiration, but since I've painted butterflies on multiple things, I kind of know it by memory. Also, don't mind the weird lighting. I was watching a Netflix movie while doing this, but basically I just followed the picture and painted it using these paints, so 
pretty self-explanatory, but enjoy this little painting montage. I did this during the duration of a Netflix movie, so it was pretty quick and really pretty enjoyable to do. I've seen plenty of jackets where they've done full back designs, and I've also seen many things on denim where they've added little painting things to like the pockets of jeans, which is also something that I definitely want to try. And this is the finished outcome of how it turned out. I think it's a really, really fun way to upcycle and add a little personal touch. All right, guys, so that was my thrift flip for you today. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. If you want to see how I style some of these things, you should go ahead and follow me over on my Instagram because that's where I post all my fashion and outfits, and that's also where I update you guys on like my videos and whatnot. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more thrift flip videos or any other kind of videos, just let me know in the comments what you want to see, and I'll be sure to do that for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.